The same battery concept is based on Mazda research using parabolic mirrors to focus light on a small area to heat sand falling through a cylinder. It then uses that heat as a store for future production of power. Sand can easily flow as in an hourglass. Sand can easily be heated, needing only a fifth of the energy to heat compared to water. This heat stored in sand is also released easily. Cold sand coming from a reservoir is lifted into a heat exchange tower and percolated through electrically heated refractory channels, absorbing heat sufficient to reach 600 to 1000 degrees Celsius. Heat control is achieved by regulating sand flow. This is then stored until required. When needed, the heated sand is then elevated to a heat exchange tower, where it again slides down channels surrounded by water pipes. The cold water comes from the bottom of the tower into those pipes and is heated by the sand, reaching about 600 degrees Celsius by the time it is discharged at the top. When compressed, it is in a supercritical state, ideal for generators. Heat control is achieved by regulating water flow. At the turbines, the ideal temperature is 550 degrees Celsius. The sand, depleted of heat, is returned to the gold reservoir. Regulating sand, electricity and water supply will establish control. This system requires very few moving parts, no mechanical or electrical systems that need to be invented, and should cost considerably less than batteries or hydropower.